In the silence of a world that foregoes the night's call, an exploration begins, a solitary odyssey through the veiled territories of wakefulness. The experiment is poised to reveal a narrative of the mind's resilience and vulnerability in the absence of sleep, a journey delineating five distinct stages of sleep deprivation. Stage one, the onset of twilight, 24 hours. Giving up that first snooze fest is like going into a world where everything has a bit of a shadow around the edges. When the moon starts to smile and the sun goes down, your brain starts to work in a strange way. That as sharp as attack wit and book smarts you'd like to show off? The dim light from a star that's had too much to drink makes them dance the tango. At the same time, the clear lines of everyday life start to blur. Reality seems to have been smudged with a huge thumb, and the ideas that used to be light and airy in your head feel like they're wading through maple syrup. Welcome to the place where the steady beat of the real world wobbles and wanes, like a radio signal from a faraway planet that just isn't getting through. The story moves along smoothly, and as evening turns to night, the colors in the story get darker, making the reader feel a strange and wonderful dance. Stage two, the Hall of Mirrors, 48 hours. When you're alone with your thoughts for two days in a row, Things get really weird. Think of your brain as the host of a costume party and your senses as the guests. Sight is there, dressed as a funhouse mirror, making a mess of everything. Sound is that fake smooth talker. Its voice is so far away that you can't tell if it's the cat meowing or your stomach growling. How do you smell? It's that mystery ghost that pulls you from a flowery meadow to a fish market with its smells. Taste is sneaky. It can make plain crackers taste like high-end cheese. And feel? When you least expect it, it walks around with one of those electric handshakes and zaps and tickles you. Reality is standing in line, not sure if it's tall enough to ride the roller coaster of your view. Once the images don't go away, the story turns into the mind's unraveling, where feelings and thoughts twist and turn. Stage 3. The Abyss of Emotion. 72 hours. At the peak of the third day, Emotions become very angry and break free from their reasonable chains. It seems like they planned a crazy party and didn't invite logic. You're trying to figure out the recipe for a confusing drink that has tears and laughs in it. Do not worry about it. It's like your feelings put on a magician's cloak and made your common sense disappear. The math of mood that you used to depend on is now more like quantum physics than simple addition. Have fun figuring out that math. The journey goes deeper moving into the mental realm where strategy and trust, which used to be solid, start to shake. Stage four, the shadows on the wall, 96 hours. The fourth day is coming up quickly, and it feels like a boss level in the video game of life. Our one strong belief is beginning to look like it forgot its morning coffee. Decisions that once felt like sure steps now look more like worried toe taps on the huge chessboard that is life. And let's be honest, these aren't nice ghosts like Casper. These are scary doubting spirits that would make even a Ouija board say, nope. If you pick a choice, it's like picking a door on a game show. But behind each door are a bunch of what ifs ready to party like it's Friday the 13th. As the story goes up, it gets to a crucial point where it's hard to tell the difference between being awake and asleep. It then spirals towards a peak. Stage five, the surreal summit, 120 hours. The peak of the crazy wave, finally shows up after going for 120 hours straight. That's like five days without a nap, people. You and the times you're here play a huge game of hide and seek in the vast field of your mind. This isn't just any hilltop. Imagine playing tag with yourself in space and you are it, trying to catch, well, yourself. It's not as easy as you're it, no tag backs though. No, it's more you're it and good luck figuring out which version of you is running away. Please hold on tight, sweetheart because things are about to get very personal up here. During the mind's run, a moment of clarity breaks through, revealing the deep need for rest. This is a moving echo that echoes through the stages. As soon as the experiment is over, the story slowly shifts back to the sacredness of sleep. The mind, which used to move through the stages of vigil, finds its pace again with the night, remembering the beat of rest.